Hey guys, what's up? It's Rantic here, and if you've never like seen any videos on my channel before, you'll probably be like, oh, I don't want to listen to this guy, his microphone sucks. Well, I'm using a really old microphone, but I really have something I want to get off my chest. So, you know, I've had a lot more free time. I've just been kind of, you know, chilling, doing a lot of things, watching a lot of YouTube, really. That's really what I've been doing, watching a lot of YouTube, uh, you know, you know, watching a lot of YouTube. It kind of led me to, you know, discovering Leafy is here, and if you don't know who that is, you've literally been living under a rock. He is growing at a ridiculous rate. Like, the amount of subscribers that he's gained just over the summer, over the year. I think he's at, like, what, 4.5 million now or some crazy number like that? For those of you who don't know Leafy, he's a satirical YouTuber. And since my sense of humor has always been kind of, you know, messed up, it kind of, you know, I kind of enjoyed his videos. And I was like, this guy kind of reminds me a little bit of myself. Although we're completely different, that aspect I can say, you know, kind of like myself. Now, the issue is not him it's just kind of the drama that's been surrounding him in the gaming community the majority of the problems that are like spawning up the entire summer is that he's basically been beefing with somebody like you know someone i knew in my older times as a gamer keemstar ej keemstar killer keemstar all those names you, you know may pop in your head and i kind of remembered him with his involvements of like woody lefty only use me blade you know the the bad kid stream or whatever all that stuff when i was a lot younger now, I knew him way before Leafy was, like, prospering on YouTube, so I kind of just was blind to what happened beforehand. I always thought that Keem was, you know, kind of edgy, but at the same time, like, you know, troll. And he, then, you know, he kind of started doing, like, when he started doing Drama Alert, I kind of just, you know, didn't really drop him, but I kind of just forgot about all the stuff that he was doing. And he was a pretty good troll, now that I mention it. But, you know, I never knew those old videos of him saying, like, the N-word a lot and being super racist, like, when he was trolling those guys in the lobby. Um, I never knew that that was going to come back to haunt him because, you know, everyone kind of moves on. But I guess he couldn't really escape it. In this day and age, we kind of got to tiptoe around the things we say. And, you know, I'm not condoning what Keem has ever said or done in the past. But it's just like, I look at this stuff and say that, I don't know, I've just been watching all of these videos, like, and looking at all the proof that was provided by Leafy and Keem when they were going back and forth at each other, and they still are. And now it's being brought to shit like lawsuits, which honestly, I'll get into it soon. I don't believe that that is the answer, and I really think that it shouldn't go to that. And, you know, they've done, you know, they've both done some bad things. Now, Leafy, not as publicly, I guess you could say. Just, it's more of what Leafy says that people will take out of context and... People will be like, oh my gosh, Leafy's an awful person. Oh my gosh, he, he's, he doesn't have a heart. No, like, people need to understand that that's, like, purely satire. But what I'm talking about is not Leafy in his video-making style. I'm talking about the fact that he's still bombarding Keemstar. And, you know, he's getting help from all these guys, you know, Grade A, Under A, which I haven't done much, like, research about. I've just kind of watched a couple of his videos, which his two are hilariously funny. I like the fucking animation style. <laughs> it's really funny. But it's just like a lot of people are, are going to be harsh to him about what he says because it's kind of negative and people take those negative words the wrong way. And while I don't condone acting the way he does, he does it for entertainment. And most of the time it's not, you know, I, I can't be in his mind, but I don't think he means most of the stuff that he says. Not about Keem, because I can tell that what he says about Keem is genuinely from how he feels, but from the other people. I digress. Everyone makes mistakes. That is something that people need to understand. Keem, maybe by, you know, saying the fucked up shit that he did, like saying Alex is a stupid N-word, which was probably one of the biggest things that you guys have seen in the past couple of months, or like, you know, just false reports, which I definitely, you know, I, I wasn't about any of that. I was kind of, you know, seeing that was like, damn, that's really fucked up. That's bad. Um, but again... Mistakes happen. He has addressed that, and he has apologized for it. Whether he was genuine about it or whether he was false about it, I just call it how I see it. I don't know what he's thinking. Well, where am I really going with all of this? I'm kind of just mentioning the tidbits and the little, like, you know, Leafy this, Keemstar that. At this point in time, everybody is referring to Keemstar as the cancer of YouTube. You know, they've been bashing the living hell out of him, and Keem's reputation has truly been damaged. Like, truly been damaged. He lost a lot of subscribers, you know, people will constantly hate on his videos, you know, I don't know if you've seen the why am I still getting hate played over and over in Leafy's video, or if you watched Keem, the why am I still getting hate, he's addressed all this, all that, this, that, whatever the fuck. As far-fetched as this will sound, even though, like, you know, all the things I've uncovered about Keem have seemed to be pretty fucked up, 
I truly think the cancer of YouTube is the fact that this drama and beef still exists. Now, don't flame me. Don't say, oh, you're a Keemstar report or supporter. What the fuck are you doing? No. No, literally, I think the thing that is the problem with YouTube is that it's not the entirety of YouTube. Just amongst the gaming community, this beef is awful. And I think that it just promotes so much negativity and problems and everyone should just stop fucking talking about it. Like, it, all this shit happened, and it's happened so long ago, and now they're like, oh, I'm gonna sue you, I'm gonna sue you, this, that, and the other. I, I got contacted by, you know, lawyers, this and this and this, and I truly believe that that's just gonna cause more problems than it's gonna solve. Because whoever loses this, quote, lawsuit is literally going to get ended. Literally going to get fucked over. And I don't want to see Keemstar, all the work he's put into Drama Alert, to just go, like, to nothing, because, you know, I kind of, you know, I used to watch him back in the day, like, really far back, before I knew what Leafy was, and before Leafy was really popular on YouTube, and probably before Leafy even had a YouTube, I don't know if he had one in, like, 2009 or 2010, I don't fucking know, but whoever loses the lawsuit is gonna get fucked over, and me as, like, a, you know, a general bystander in the gaming community that watches Leafy and enjoys his videos, and every now and then watches Drama Alert, or just looks at Twitter and see all the stuff that Keems does, I... I just don't want to see either of them go at it anymore. It's just like the lengths that people are taking to beat this fucking shit up is just... It's the true cancer, to say the least. You know, we can laugh about the things that Leafy says in his video. Like, oh, gnome guy, this, that. Now, that's all, like, friendly banter, but, like, in the end, it's not when you think about the things that Leafy is going to... Like, like I don't know. I I'm kind of rambling at this point. It's just, there's so much I have to say, and it's hard to kind of put it into words. Because I'm not good at making these kind of videos. But, you know, both of these guys have lives. They entertain people. They make money off this. This is their career. People say Keem has ended people's careers. People say Leafy has ended people's careers. Sometimes, Leafy can, you know, maybe go a little bit too far. But the fact is, Leafy addresses it and apologizes for it and moves on and keeps making good videos. Keemstar has apologized for things he has done now... It does look like Keem is the bad guy, but, you know, back to the point. Everybody makes mistakes. Keem is just trying to move on to all this. He's addressed everything. He's done his best to do whatever. And even if he is in the wrong, the fact that he's trying to sue this, sue that, is the wrong thing to do. Unless Keemstar is going at Leafy and trying to end him, or Leafy going at Keemstar trying to end him, which actually is what has been going on, no one should really be doing anything. I think that these guys should seriously just squash it right now. As FoozyTube would say, I just want to squash it right now. Oh, no, fuck you, Ricegum. No, I'm not going to get into that because that was totally on the other side and that's totally unrelated. I just try to be funny sometimes and it doesn't work. Whatever. You know, I just think that if they squash that shit, Keem, it doesn't matter. Like, Keem has been doing bad things, but everything should be put to rest. I feel like Keem is more stressed and seeming like a worse of a person because of all the hate that he's been getting. And I think Leafy should just drop it because at his like channel size and all that he should just be you know focusing on him and just growing his channel more yeah i guess this could be considered growing his channel more by like trying to fuck keemstar like over but you know and again i can kind of understand how all of this is going down because i'm a very genuine like person i can kind of see things from both sides and i look at everything like not from one point of view because oh, i don't fucking have friends so i can't have a point of view to stick on but I just disagree with all this beef. It's like so fucking stupid. It's unnecessary. It's out of the way. Leafy needs to continue to make his great videos and creative content and fucking prove to people that, yeah, you can still be edgy and be liked. And, you know, it, it's not that his channel is based around hate. It's just, you know, he makes it apparent he doesn't want people to witch hunt the people he calls out. He just, you know, people don't understand what satire really is anymore because 2016 is the year where everyone is not allowed to have an opinion or be funny anymore like if you say something oh that's fucking politically incorrect oh that's so wrong you're fucking stupid but i don't know that's all i really have to say i i think the more that everyone can really like laugh and stop hating the more people can like each other or at least tolerate like you don't have to like someone but going out of your way to be a dick to them or, like, to genuinely hate them is just, like, causes more problems. And just tolerate somebody. Like, if you can you cannot like someone, just fucking tolerate them. It makes things so much easier. The more smooth and likable this world will be, like, if everyone does that. And in this case, like, YouTube can kind of just calm down and all these new guidelines that are going on, like, cyberbully this, cyberbully that. YouTube has literally changed because of all this. And if this just ends and everyone just calms down and goes back to doing what they do best, 
make videos in their own unique ways. I think it can bring an interesting future to YouTube as a whole and stop all this cancer, this cancer, that argument. Now, this is like the most unbiased I can be because coming from someone who doesn't really subscribe to anybody and watches a lot of videos and, you know, I, I just think that taking the steps to stop all of this is more important than taking the steps to try to end somebody's career. I've seen all the allegations brought against Keemstar. I've seen all the allegations brought against Leafy. All these allegations are only spawned from people trying to nitpick words and people trying to just, you know, get back at somebody. And if Keemstar, Leafy, if you guys or anybody that you know ever sees this and shows it to you, you guys should honestly just step away from this BS and continue making your great videos, like both of you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'm sorry if I rambled a lot. I haven't made a video in a really long time, and I'm really bad at it. I'm an awful YouTuber. But this is something I had to get off my mind. If I can, if no one's going to try to be the voice of reason, I want to try to be the voice of reason. Again, you know, thanks for watching. Share this video. I kind of want them to see it as jumbled and awful as it may be. But I think it brings up a decent amount of points. And, you know, the main argument about all this is just stop hating each other and go back to doing what you do. You guys have too much talent and money to be made to waste it on each other and beefing. Thank you all for watching. But Sorry, I got that truly was the end. Talk to you all in the next video I make, whenever that is. Enjoy your nights. Man, really Peace.